crafty friends! Welcome to my craft room tour. As part of the American Crafts Design Team this week on the blog, we're highlighting our craft rooms and some organizational tips along the way. Okay, so the first tip I have for organizing your room is to divide it into the types of activities you do in your room. So that is how my room is divided up and organized. And that's how it works for my brain. So in the morning I come in and this is the this whole area is the planner station. So anything that has to do with planners is going to be in this station. I've got all my current planners here. I've got dye inks and stamp planner stamps here. Planner inks, more planner inks. And these drawers obviously are going to hold everything that has to do with planners. So extra clips and I'll go into more detail after we do this part. <laughs> so then the next station in the room is the paper station. So this is going to be all the newer supplies from the different lines. I'm on two design teams, American Crafts and Felicity Jane. So this is going to be all the supplies that they send me for my design team projects. And these bins obviously hold 12 by 12 paper. So I have Heidi Swap, I've got Pink Paisley, New American Crafts, Felicity Jane, Studio Calgo, Feature Craft, New More Felicity Jane, Traveler's Notebooks, and I'll go into detail on that. And then this little slim cart is left over. It's a, like a, about 20 years old, so I don't know if you guys can find it. It used to be a slim laundry cart, so all of my Traveler's Notebooks fit on that. And then this station over here, this will be the computer and photo printing station. So anything having to do with my camera, so extra lenses, and I have an office chair that can swivel. So I've got two printers, I have a laser printer and a photo printer, and a tray for paper. And then what I can do is swing my office chair around, and this is the desk where I assemble my layouts. And then you guys can see I created this pegboard, I hung this and made it myself. Um, I just got some molding at Lowe's and created this, painted it. I painted it, spray painted it gold and white. And then most of my new American Crafts stuff is on this, is organized on this wall. I have six by six papers from, I've got Pink Paisley, Chamel, Dear Lizzie, Stay Colorful, and then Amy Tangerine. And then we get to the mink station. The sewing station, so everything having to do with sewing is going to be near the sewing machine, stored near point of use. And then I have the mink, and in the drawers near the mink are all the mink supplies. I've got Bible journaling, and then some layouts. So this planner station I was talking about when we did the all-around room tour, I wanted to go into a little bit more detail with that. So this is also the desk where I do any traveler's notebooks and planning and hand lettering. So you can see that I have my hand lettering supplies here. I have the Kelly Creates brush pens and I have the Kelly Creates lettering pads. And those are all stored here right at the desk so that I can simply pull out a pad of paper. And I have the Kelly Creates journals here that also house some more pins and the these are set up like traveler's notebooks so you can do pin swatches I have all my American Crafts pins swatched here and these are also from American Crafts they're watering watercoloring pencils so I have these items at the what I like to do in my room is store things where I at the point of use like I said before so this is where I use the items and therefore that's where I store them so this clear bin right here that's labeled American Crafts, that has all the rest of the hand lettering brush pens and all the paint pens, like the Vicky Booten paint pens and everything in there. And then as you pan up, over there <laughs> is all of the brush pens that are not American Crafts. So let me try to come over here and zoom in. So you can see these are labeled. The clear bins right there, these clear bins are from the dollar store. So those were super inexpensive and they are labeled with the brands. So Tombow, Kurataki, Statler Fine Liners, Mariyukita brush pens, 
I have Zig, the Zig Clean Color Real Brush Pens, and Memento. So these are also for hand lettering and for planners. So that's why I store them over here in the planner station. These are also more pens for planner. I've got the separated mostly by color. So Faber Castell Pit Artist. These are India ink pens. Then I have some more brush lettering pens that I can use for planners here as well. And then also at the top are my fancy pens. So all my fancy pens for planners are up here. They're nice and cute so I can see them. Then I'll try to go real slow here. Since this is the planner and traveler notebook desk, I have my American Crafts sticker books. And I have some Heidi Swap sticker books for planning for traveler's notebooks. Any kind of stencils and templates for both travel journals. Lettering templates, little guides, those are all here back from uh, my design school days. I save some of those. So any kind of little stencil and template is in that section. Then I have more American Crafts sticker books here. I'm not quite too sure if these have been, maybe I can't show those yet. I don't know. <laughs> and then I have my Happy Planner stickers. And then if you go down below, I have Traveler's Notebook stamps. And then this, here we go. I'm trying to move really slow so I don't make you guys. Okay, so down here are more planner stickers, all the sticker books from the American Crafts. So I have Chamel Heidi Swap. Dear Lizzie, another Kelly Creates pad since this is where I also hand litter, and Paige Evans, Vicki Booten, One Canoe Two, another Dear Lizzie, and I showed you those already. So that's all of at the planner station. So the top part of this desk at the planner station has my traveler's notebooks, and I'll go through. Oops. I'll go through each one. This is a Felicity Jane for my creative team assignments to keep those a track of those. The, so that has a monthly planner and a weekly planner. A traveler's notebook for travel. Some current Bible study. And my Heidi Swap. This is my spiritual planner. So it has daily. And then this American Crafts one is for Project Life. The next one next to it is home and family, so like schedules, uh, bills, things like that for planning. This is a war binder from American Crafts, and it has five insert. It has, I think, six elastics. I restrung it to have six elas elastics, but I think it came with five. And then this is a B6 from Mystic Little Gifts, and that one is for writing, so b6 or 5 by 7 is for writing okay so the drawers at the planner station here I was just gonna go through what is in here there's rubber bands for jump banding extra TN inserts and all sorts of just office stuff you have a tape binder clips post-it notes pencil sharpener and stuff like that in the very top drawer then the second drawer Holds lots of post-its, page flags, labels. Oh, and those are those are the dollar store white little plastic boxes. And then this bottom is legal size hanging files, and these are all labeled with the planner kits. So Studio Calico planner kits and Planner Society planner kits. And here's some Prima Planner stuff and a Villa Beautiful. And that's all right at the planning station. 
So another little tip I have is if you like to store, you have some items that won't fit where you use them, what I do is put them in these bins. That way I can simply grab the bin and take it to the work surface right there. So that's another little tip. If you need to store a few more supplies that won't fit near your workspace, then you can just place them in bins. You might be wondering, why does she have a bin in a bin? So that would be why, so that I could carry it then to my work surface and use it over there. And this is a label from the new American Crafts chalkboard labels. And I just used um, the American Crafts Jane Davenport paint pen. Okay, so this is the closet. At my old craft room, I had two closets. One was for stamping and one was for die cutting. <coughs> So in this, sorry, my dog is coughing. So in this house, I had to resort to just going floor to ceiling with vertical storage. There we go. And this holds the bulk of my supplies, like, uh, obviously they're labeled, but this is a bin of all adhesives. So AC, replacement tape runners, like, and the like watercolors and paints, more paints that don't fit on the mixed media cart, and Vicki Booten. All of these are the older crop and style. I think it's from Cropper Hopper, but these are, I built all of these. All of the cubes in my room I built myself, and I used wood glue and dowels and wood glue on the screws so that when I put them together, they would stay sturdy. So these are really sturdy. And Vicki Booten gets a whole 12 by 12 bin. And then we have office supply. So most of the things in here are labeled. I have extra bags, fine tip bottles, replacement tips, and fine tip bottles for glues and glue dots. And then I have some older supplies that I want to eventually move out of here because this needs to, this room, since it's smaller, needs to be just for things that are actually in use. So I have art journals, and then this is another section of All American Crafts. So I have the Creative Devotion line, Dear Lizzie, Chamel, Sweater Weather. And then letters are new, newer letters I've gotten in Design Team boxes. And then in the, oh, this is great, I'm gonna try not to, I'm gonna move really slow here. So this, is a storage container with all my white cardstock. So if you follow me, you know that I mostly use white cardstock as the base for my layout. So I have Nina, and then I have Basil, and then I have AC. So this file, this hanging file, these are legal sized hanging files. These are all of my thickers. So I have them by color. So they're labeled gold, white, so I have another tip for you if you're on any design team or or if you blog and you need to know the item numbers for any projects you've created I have my current uh, projects and the paper that I'm working on for current projects at the top and this is just another one of those 12 by 12 white plastic stir light containers so what I do when I'm gonna create a design team project or for a blog post is I take the tray out and I place it on the desk and that way any items that I actually use on my page can go in the tray and then I can get the packaging and item numbers from the tray. Thank you so much for joining me for my American Crafts Design Team craft room tour with tips and I hope you follow some of the links below to more of my work. Thanks for joining me. Bye!